Hey folks, this is Gabe with Security Baron, and you might want to be bringing some intelligence to your smart home security camera game. Well, we might have a solution today with our review of the SimCam AI. In today's review of the SimCam AI, we're going to see all that it's bringing to the table by running it through the Security Baron necessary features test before diving into its mobile application, the SimCam AI app, to make sure you have all the information you need to make the right decision. If you'd like to see a list of our favorite home security cameras, Google Security Baron Best Home Security Cameras. If you have a question about today's review, leave us a comment and I'll get back to you. Here at Security Baron, we think that every camera should have stellar video quality, two-way audio, night vision, local and cloud storage, smart platform integration, artificial intelligence, convenience, and value. A security brand necessary feature is stellar video quality, and in that sense, we like to see 1080p high definition video and at least a 120 degree field of view. Here, the SimCam AI has pretty solid uh, performance when it comes to video quality, providing that 1080p high definition video that we love to see, but it only has a 100 degree field of view. Now, I believe the SimCam hoped to mitigate this a bit by providing the pan function, but it does not work well enough for us to be able to give it full marks when it comes to video quality. So when it comes to the security barrier necessary feature of video quality with the SimCam AI, we gotta give it half marks. Two-way audio is a security brand necessary feature. You wanna be able to have a conversation with whoever is in the space of your camera. It comes equipped with a speaker and microphone and your mobile device is equipped with the same. And in our experience, we wanna have a nice, clear conversation um, with those using the SimCam AI. Can you hear me? Now, I do wanna point out that it does seem to have pretty loud ambient noise. It doesn't seem to incorporate any noise cancellation features, but generally speaking, you can still have uh, a nice conversation. It doesn't prevent you from doing so. So when it comes to two-way audio with the SimCam AI, we give it full marks. Night vision is a security brand necessary feature. You wanna be able to see in the dark as well as you can see in the day, or at least approximate that vision. Fortunately, with the SimCam AI, you get that. It has 10 infrared LED lights uh, that really provide for a nice shot even in the dark. I felt as if uh, I could see myself really well, make out my features uh, in any room. So when it comes to night vision and the SimCam AI, we give it full marks. Hold on, I hope you're enjoying today's review of the SimCam AI. We're gonna be kept up to date on the newest in home security cameras, smart home security, cybersecurity, and more. Subscribe to our channel, Security Baron. We're dropping new content weekly. All right, let's get back to the video. Local and cloud storage is a Security Baron necessary feature. You wanna have that local storage option and the ability to send things up into the cloud and access them there. Now with the SimCam AI, you're just getting that local storage. Uh, it has a 128 gigabyte memory card that comes along with it, so you can definitely store tons of information there. And actually inside of the mobile app, you can download those directly to your mobile device. So you can save things forever, share them directly from your phone. But when it comes to local and cloud storage and that cloud storage option, we have to give the SimCam AI half marks. Smart platform integration is a security brand necessary feature. You want to be able to use your device with the Amazon and Google virtual assistants to actually look at your footage uh, and actually interface with the device itself. Now, the SimCam AI does integrate with Amazon and Google's virtual assistants, but the functionality is limited. While you can use elements of the facial recognition in terms of asking it who did it see come in throughout the day and things of that nature, you can't actually pitch the video to your Chromecast or your Amazon Echo Show. So that's something to keep in mind. And for that, we're actually gonna give the SimCam AI half marks for smart platform integration. Artificial intelligence is a security barrier necessary feature. It really helps you to cut down on the number of notifications you receive throughout the day and really pay attention to the things that you want to pay attention to. Fortunately, the SimCam AI is really bringing the pain when it comes to AI capabilities. It has, of course, person detection, so you aren't distracted by things that you don't actually care about. 
has facial recognition with a library that can hold 200 faces. Can you imagine putting 200 faces into the library for your camera? But hey, I kind of want to put it to that test. Uh, it also has the ability to have object monitoring. So you have a very nice bust that you keep on a mantelpiece that you don't want to move. Uh, you can actually have it in the object monitoring square. And if something happens to that bust, you will be immediately notified. On top of that, you have area monitoring. So if you have a particular window or doorway that you want to be keeping an eye on, uh, you can do so with the SimCam AI. It just brings a lot of innovative features and capabilities to artificial intelligence. And for that, we're gonna give it full marks. Convenience is a security brand necessary feature. And fortunately, it is a convenient process with the SimCam AI. The installation was easy, the maintenance is even easier. You're gonna plug in that power adapter, use the mobile device and your Wi-Fi to have it all set up and ready to go. And I think I was watching my footage within five minutes. And speaking of watching footage, the process of going back and forth, looking at your footage, checking out your facial recognition library, all of that is pretty straightforward and for the most part intuitive. So when it comes to convenience and the security brand necessary features test, had to give it full marks. Value is a security brand necessary feature. And when it comes to the SimCam AI, at $189 for the 360 pan version, it may seem a little spendy. But if you take into consideration the number of artificial intelligence features that it has, like object monitoring, facial recognition, person detection, you'll note that you don't have to spend anything extra to access those features like you might with some of the other larger brands out on the market. And so if you're not paying that monthly subscription, it actually begins to really even out and maybe even be more affordable than those other options. So when it comes to the SimCam AI and value, we have to give it full marks. Now that we've put the SimCam AI through the security brand necessary features test, let's check out its mobile application, SimCam app. Now the SimCam app uh, is gonna be where you're gonna be interfacing with your device, live streaming footage, putting different faces into the facial recognition library. And people seem to be having a pretty decent experience overall in the Apple App Store. It has a 3.3 out of five star rating. And in the Google Play Store, it has a 3.4 out of five star rating. So let's go ahead and check it out on my iPhone. Here we are checking out the SimCam AI on my iPhone. You'll see now I'm already in the shot. You can already see what's happening. Uh, and this is just on the main screen of the camera. Now if we go into the full screen, like so, you know there are a lot of different things one can do. There's seven different options on the bottom of this screen. And in the upper right hand corner you see it says full HD, HD or SD. So that's our 1080p, our 720 or our 360 standard definition. Now on the bottom, uh, on the far right, you see that red uh, like siren, and that is a very loud siren that you can have go off at the touch of, or uh, rather at the tap of the screen, uh, which is really loud, so I won't subject you to that. Uh, to the left of that, you'll see your area monitoring. So you can actually uh, outline areas that you wanna have monitored uh, to make sure that no one is breaking in, especially around doors and things of that nature. But let's go ahead and test it out with the left side of this particular screen. So if I go here, one, two, three, and four, and now I've got an open uh, area monitoring, and it lets you know that it has made that setting uh, successfully. And to the left of that, you'll see object monitoring, which is a pretty cool thing that I've not seen on any other uh, artificial intelligence camera or camera at all, where it allows you to essentially watch a particular item. If I take this globe, and boom, now it is watching this. You see that red uh, dot, or that red uh, uh, square on my screen shows that it is inside that monitoring area. Now to the left of that, you'll see the microphone. So if I wanna to speak to someone on the other side, I can do so. And to the left of that, you see the recording. So now we're gonna go ahead and record everything else happening directly in the app. So if we're recording in the app, uh, we'll actually be able to take that into our library and put that onto our phone. And to the left of that, you see you have the ability to take snapshots. So now that's a snapshot success. And I can hit that speaker to hear what's happening in the room. But this is the SimCam AI. Let's go ahead and check out those AI features, like the ability to put your face in there. For example, I'm in here, nicknamed Gabe, uh, role father. Uh, you know, I'm not actually a father, but that is kind of funny that you could put a role in from SimCam AI. So you can put father, mother, baby, family, visitor, others. Uh, and I put it in by taking my own photos, but I could also add people uh, by just taking 
uh, photos or inserting their photos directly from my phone's photo albums. So I can make a new nickname and add more folks directly to this AI library. And I will say that the facial recognition works really well. It almost always recognizes me, always says who is in the room. And that's really, really, you see, you can see it right there. Face recognition, Gabe, 2019, 10, seven, almost three o'clock. Really useful element. Now to the left of that, you'll see it says detecting. And so you, this is basically turning on and off your person detection. So person detection also works really well. And something you'll see when we jump into the library. Finally, on this part, you're gonna hit the setting. It allows you to name your device, look at some video and audio options, uh, and just have your camera on a schedule, along with picking up that pedestrian tracking, uh, which is something we hope to be able to demonstrate later, but it is definitely not uh, the most uh, consistent feature on the SimCam AI. So if you look in the bottom, you see alerts, and alerts is essentially your event history. It lets you know uh, everything you've done in terms of object monitoring, uh, setting up uh, who's come in the room, people being detected. It's a really useful element because it does uh, just show you how well that AI functions with your SIM cam. To the right of that, you see the library. And in the library, you have that picture, that video. Uh, you have the ability to essentially save all of these clips that you've taken directly to your uh, device. So if you have an Android or or an iPhone, you don't have to hold on to these in this local storage, which ultimately will begin to be written over, uh, considering it is a finite 128 gigabyte storage device. But overall, I'm a pretty big fan. Let's see if we can go ahead and get this pedestrian detecting uh, to work. Uh, yes, here it goes. So you can see there that while the SimCam AI does bring a little bit of that pedestrian tracking uh, capability, it's not at all the place we would imagine it to be. Uh, it does work a little bit and you can manually pan quite easily just using your fingers, but the pedestrian tracking is not really at the level one would expect it, but hopefully a software update or two will get us there. So here we are checking out the video quality on the SimCam AI. Now you'll note that uh, you can see me pretty well with that 1080p high definition video, but it's not capturing everything in the room because it's a 100 degree field of view, uh, which is quite uh, limited. Now I can of course mitigate that a bit by panning in one direction or another, uh, which is something you can do with the SimCam AI. So you see there, I can go to that corner, I can go back, you can check out the other corner. Uh, those are things that one can do with this system, but generally speaking, it's definitely not picking up uh, what you would expect it to um, with a camera of this uh, like caliber. So generally speaking, pretty nice video quality on the SimCam AI. Here I am checking out the SimCam AI's night vision. You'll note that it picks me up pretty well. Uh, it's capturing everything with the 10 infrared LEDs allowing for a really solid perspective and full HD. Uh, I feel as if it's capturing me pretty well. Uh, so overall, I'm a fan of the night vision. Uh, you can see why when you look at this globe test that really proves that the SimCam AI is bringing the heat when it comes to that night vision. Look at that. We got all of Africa in its glory. Uh, you can see it really well. So that's the night vision on the SimCam AI. Let's review how the SimCam AI fared on the security brand necessary features test. Video quality half marks, where it has the nice 1080p high definition resolution that we've come to expect. It's 100 degree field of view left us wanting more. Two-way audio, full marks. While there is a bit of ambient noise, we find it pretty easy to have a conversation using the two-way audio on the SimCam AI. Night vision, full marks. 10 infrared LEDs really make for a nice luminous experience with the SimCam AI, even in the dark. Local and cloud storage, half marks. Where there's a nice local storage option with a 128 gigabyte memory card, there's no dedicated cloud storage. Smart platform integration, half marks. While it does integrate with Amazon and Google's virtual assistants, the functionality is limited. Artificial intelligence, full marks. The SimCam AI has advanced artificial intelligence features like person detection and facial recognition. Convenience, full marks. The installation and maintenance of the SimCam AI is pretty straightforward and easy. Value, full marks. At $189 retail, 
It is a little bit of a spendy device, but if you calculate all the different features you're getting when it comes to artificial intelligence, I do believe that it makes it worth it. All right, we've come to the end of our look at the SimCam AI, and you're wondering, hey Gabe, is this the right camera for me? And look, it has pretty impressive advanced features when it comes to artificial intelligence, like that facial recognition library, person detection, and even object monitoring, where it can pay specific attention to objects in your home and notify you if they're taken. Now, it does not have the most polished overall feel to it. Uh, I think that that's something that you may be able to uh, address in future updates and you of course have that very limited view when it comes to sight you're going to get a hundred degree field of view but overall if you're looking for the next thing in ai technology uh, the simcam ai is a pretty solid contender so that concludes our review of the simcam ai if you appreciated today's video give us a like and hit that subscribe button as always this is gabe security baron be secure